Uh, we came from Alameda, California. It was an easy flight. I think the hours are just the tough thing for me. We tried to. Um, I would say we met, went to the majority of them were home games, fortunately for us. And I guess one of the few ones that we did miss was the Akron game, which was actually probably one of the best games I heard. Well, my time there um, at Cal was such a great experience. The spring of my junior year, I started playing right back and getting better. And, Ended up starting playing right back um, my senior year, and had a, um, we had a really good year. We won Pac-10, got to the uh, lead eight, and you know I'm I'm really really happy that I actually made that change, even though I fought it for a little bit. You know it was something that I had never done, and and I I just excelled at it, and basically I'm I'm here now doing my best. Actually, actually here I'm going to be very melt because it doesn't seem like anybody's making any noise whatsoever. But typically at the games I'm. Horribly, horribly um, verbal. <laughs> and if it, something happens or, you know, if he gets hurt, you know, of course I'm screaming at the refs and, are you flying? He's been really good about um, disciplining himself. He's sacrificed a lot. He's traveled ever since he was 13. And always the time he traveled, I think he spent his 13th and through his 21st birthday away from us because he's always playing someplace else. So. I guess my whole history of me going to Portugal was I played for the Santa Clara Sporting and there's a guy named Jose Costa and he was actually came from Portugal working with with our club and he did a couple training sessions and he was like, yeah, I like this kid, Demetrius. He's a really good, um, he's a really good talent. I want to send him over to Portugal. What ended up happening was I lost a vision in my right eye, like, you know, around, around the sixth or seventh month I was there and it was literally like one day I was fine, the next day it kind of just, you know, blurred and it was, it happened like in a split second, it was really weird. And so when I was 20, I believe before my 21st birthday, uh, I, I started having this weird foot problem. It, was, it wasn't actually a problem, it was just a numbness in the bottom of my foot. And that turned out um, to be multiple sclerosis. We thought it was a pinched nerve or something like that. And it's really, really strange how, how quickly like my foot just went kind of numb and so we saw a bunch of doctors and they, they decided to say like, why don't we just get an MRI just to check upon you. We'll just check to see if precautionary stuff and it turned out like, yeah, you definitely have multiple sclerosis. So they said there's this medication that's called Copaxin, you take it daily. And you do it one time a day and there's seven different injection spots for each day of the week. And basically, <clears throat> I mean, other than that, it's been maintained and it actually doesn't really bother me at all. It's just the thing that sucks about it is just taking the shots. But other than that, I'm fine, so. It's like, it's my sympathy story, Phil. Feel sorry for me, everybody. And as far as, as far as all the options of cities out there, obviously you'd have a preference. It uh, might be San Jose or something like that, but. Close to home would be nice. Hi, how are you? Uh, yeah, that would be so great. We can make the majority of those games. Although, for him, he doesn't care so much, but. Uh, I would love it to be close to home, honestly. I just, I miss him. I miss him since he was 13, and uh, I know he'd, he'd like to travel, but uh, I'd like to see a lot more of him. I'm, hope, I'm keeping my fingers crossed and hoping for the best that, you know, I'm gonna hopefully be out there or, you know, hope watching my name on, on the big screen, hopefully getting picked. So, I mean, hoping for the best, gonna do my best and just have no regrets.